God wants parents to spank their children and that the spanking should be hard enough to cause physical pain. A seven-year-old would get a 10 or 15 licks, and it would be a formal thing. Lydia was beaten for seven continuous hours, interrupted by short prayer breaks on the day she died. Can I envision a situation in which a parent spanks their child, and they do so in a way that is not, uh, that is not harmful? And by harmful, what I mean is it doesn't create... Uh, you know, some permanent lasting damage on that life of the child. Yes, I can envision situations like that. The marks left by the rods, many of the images too gruesome to show. We've heard of, you know, the, the phrase death by a thousand lashes. Uh, that's basically what this was. This is, this is very sad um, that people would be such extremists in their religion to beat a child for six hours to the point of death. Uh, I don't see how they could have the, the love of God in them to do that. They say it worked for their children, and most importantly, this is what God wants. We don't punish our children, but we sometimes need to get their attention. Any spanking to effectively reinforce instruction must cause pain. I've never met any well-trained, emotionally secure, happy, creative children that weren't spanked. I also believe that you can be a good parent and utilize a methods of discipline like spanking. But look at the body of Zariah, the daughter who was seriously injured by her parents. These are just some of her wounds. Other wounds and bruises on her body and on the body of her sister Lydia who died are far too graphic for us to show. Let's say a seven-year-old slugs his sister. You explain to him that what he's done is violent and that that's not acceptable in society and it's not acceptable in our home. Then I would take him somewhere like into his bedroom and I would tell him I'm going to give him 15 licks. With what? Uh, probably a belt, a kid that big, a boy. I'd probably use a belt, it'd be handy. I might use uh, a wooden spoon or um, uh, a piece of... Uh, uh, like plumbing supply line, a quarter inch in diameter, flexible enough Something to roll up. Lydia was so severely beaten she died of a condition usually associated with earthquakes and bombings. The sound of the police siren was recorded by a Paradise police officer racing to the house. When he arrived, he tried to save Lydia with CPR, with both of the parents present. She's uh, swallowed a lot of She figure out what was going on. She was like really tired and her, eye, her vision was blurry. Come on, baby. And listen later in the day to the seriously injured Zariah. I believe it's fine, just on the arm. Oh my God, and on my back, like that. Underneath your feet. Underneath your feet. Zariah, I'd like to take you to the hospital, okay? I probably need to bring a pot because I might throw up again. Proverbs 23:13. Do not withhold discipline from a child. If you punish they with the rod, they will not die. ...at exploring legal charges against the pearls. Not really, because they have a First Amendment right to say awful things. The spankings with various objects, say the pearls, are actually done out of love. My children never had marks left on them. So it's a, it's a sad day in Christianity when things like this happen.